How do you know what is happening around you in your world? We have such a plethora of information and countless sources to consume our news. However, we have limited time to understand it. With the technology boom of the 21st century, the world is connected more than ever through social media news. We focus more on the headlines than the reading material. Which type of news should you consume? Who or what can you trust for the facts? TED speaker Damon Brown aimed to answer these questions in his 2014 TED Talk animation, How to Choose Your News. In our video, we aim to highlight and provide a review of his video. While it was known that authoritarian countries controlled and censored information, a series of scandals showed that democratic governments were also misleading the public, often with media cooperation. Revelations of covert wars, secret assassinations, and political corruption undermined public faith in official narratives presented by mainstream sources. This quote showcases the importance of mainstream news back when mainstream media was the only source to consume information. People would always tune into the limited three or four TV channels for the news. The trust in the mainstream media was high until it deteriorated fast after rising scandals that stemmed from governments involving facets of corruption and cover-ups. Incidents such as the Watergate scandal and the Cuban Missile Crisis often tied the government with media cooperation on how to cover these events. The consequence of these incidents twisted the people's narrative of mainstream news, from the source of free and fair broadcasting to the source of tainted and biased broadcasting. This put a spotlight on the fact that other news companies were needed to showcase the full truth, and thus a war between the mainstream and alternative news companies began. Brown's quote here showcased the truth of how the public's perception of news changed once they realized that their factual and unbiased news channels were part of government collaboration and manipulated broadcasting in their early days. With the rise of online news and technology, the traditional news cycle was flipped on its head, as the internet brought the convenience of free information to consumers. Now, consumers can find their news on blogs, news sites, social media, and YouTube. And anyone can post anything, bringing an entirely new challenge to those seeking to sift through fact and fiction. This online democratization of news appears to have also contributed to the existing cable news networks becoming more polarized as well, as witnessed in studies conducted by the University of Pennsylvania and Stanford. Is it possible that cable channels were vying for more viewership during the 2012 and 2016 elections by showing more polarized views and opinions? So how do you get the truth or something close? One of the best ways is to get the original news unfiltered by middlemen. Instead of articles interpreting a scientific study or a politician's speech, you can often find the actual material and judge for yourself. The quote from Brown remains particularly relevant today. In this era of prevalent social media news, it's critical to perform due diligence by fact-checking information right from where it was first published. Instead of simply relying on articles or coverage by news sources or politicians, Seek out the original source. This way, you'll have access to the raw, unbiased facts. Cultivating this practice will come in handy, especially for day-to-day -day topics reported in the news. Let's consider an example related to inflation. Former Vice President Mike Pence's website claims, inflation has risen across the board, and prices for certain necessities have surged beyond the national inflation average. As a result of President Biden's policies, Americans are grappling with substantial price hikes on many essentials. However, the Associated Press states that inflation is at its lowest point. To countercheck these sources, one could refer to trustworthy data repositories. Reviewing long term data from resources like macro trends, we can observe that even though inflation may be on the mend in most areas, its highs in 2022 are still the highest it's been since 1980. AP News which tends to lean left, provided a new story in August of 2023, showing that inflation is rising but only a small amount when compared to the same time frame in 2022. Could inflation be headed in the wrong direction? The author didn't seem to think so, but when we can check this article for reliability and source quality in Bias Lee's news checker to learn more, 
this approach of checking sources can aid in forming a comprehensive and well-informed opinion about a topic. For current events, follow reporters on social media. During major events such as the Arab Spring or the Ukrainian protests, newscasters and bloggers have posted updates and recordings from the midst of the chaos. Though many of these later appear in articles or broadcasts, keep in mind that these polished versions often combine the voice of the person who was there with the input of editors who weren't. Brown's quote indeed presents a sound strategy, but it's not without its limitations. Extreme content related to a war or crisis is often withheld from mainstream channels. The most direct way to access this uncensored information, including pictures and videos, is through independent journalists. These reporters often use their social media platforms, like Twitter or Instagram, as avenues for dispensing information without mainstream media filters or editorial input. Here, social media sites, particularly modern ones like Twitter, play a crucial role by showcasing this raw and unfiltered content. However, the potential downside is the absence of context surrounding the posted incidents. As seen in our previous example on inflation, the context significantly impacts the presentation of facts. So, it's essential not to jump to premature conclusions when consuming such posts. Take, for instance, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. War correspondents Ilya Ponomarenko and Trey Yingst are on the ground in Ukraine, relaying information about the conflict through their Twitter accounts. They post first-hand accounts, images, and videos of the war-stricken Ukraine. It's crucial to verify the credibility of journalists and ensure the authenticity of their social media accounts. But once you do, it is a safe bet that you are getting relatively immediate and clean information. To avoid bias, remember to check your news from different sources of the same event. Additionally, ensure you always research a news article before you share it. The worst way false information and speculation is spread is by anonymous sources that expect you to read a good headline and expect you to share it automatically.